The iconic Rockefeller tree didn't come from a Christmas tree farm. It came from someone's backyard, here in Oneana, New York. This year's tree is an 80-year-old Norway spruce, found in Al Dick's yard. Tree 75 feet tall, 45 feet wide, and about 11 tons. I found this tree back in 2016. The head gardener for Rockville Center happened to be riding down the road and he saw the tree. Eric stopped by Al's general store to see if Al and his family would donate their tree to Rockefeller Center. He asked me if we could do it, we said sure. But they had to wait a few years. It wasn't tall enough when they wasn't first saw it. wasn't tall enough, they had to grow a little. I've been looking at it for a couple years. I watered it, I fed it over a couple years. And then this summer when I came by, it just looked great and it looked perfect and it was the year to take it. When the spruce was unveiled as the 2020 tree, the Rockefeller team got to work protecting and preparing it. We had a 24-hour-a-day guard. Eric especially, he's been here every day. There have been like family, we're gonna miss them being outside every day. But getting this massive spruce to the center of Manhattan is no easy task. First, it had to come out of the ground. We came up and we started tying it. It took us all the way to Saturday afternoon. Eric hired a crew of local workers to tie up the branches. That's to make sure they're secure through the cutting and the drive. And then the crane came and we built the crane and put the counterweights on it so that it could hold the tree. The crane is already attached to the tree when the workers begin cutting. Eric and his team have private property and bystanders to think about. It takes only a few minutes to saw through the massive trunk, leaving the giant tree hanging in the air. Now we moved it over to the truck. The tree is laid on its side on that 115-foot long trailer and strapped into place. The tree is going to take a nice little trip down in New York City. Often the most complicated part is getting it right from the property where it is onto the highway. What is normally a three and a half hour drive takes up to three days with a 75 foot tree. You don't want to get the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree stuck in traffic. And then of course the city of New York is always tremendously helpful with us in terms of closing the streets and making sure that we're able to have a smooth arrival into the city. Normally, the tree arrives to big crowds, but this year, because of COVID-19, it pulled up to an empty Rockefeller Center. We like to think that Tree Arrival Day is the start of the holiday season officially in New York. And certainly this has been a year unlike any other, so it felt all the more important to us to continue those traditions. Carefully, it's lifted off the truck, then tilted right side up and slid into the sturdy tree stand in the middle of Rockefeller Center. As if putting up the tree in Rockefeller Plaza is not enough. Crew is working on the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree got a little surprise. They found a tiny owl. This year, workers found a little owl hidden inside the tree. And the bird went viral as people guessed it hitched a ride all the way from upstate New York. He was brought safely to a shelter and named appropriately Rockefeller, Rocky for short. Also blowing up the internet, the fact that the tree looked a little bare on arrival but what might look like a scrawny tree now got a big facelift. This is the extension to make it nice and full. Over the next couple of weeks, the tree was surrounded in scaffolding. As the tree's branches settled and fluffed out, it's been reported workers also attached branch extensions to make the tree appear fuller. We would stick a hole in the tree, put the branch back in, boom, wired it in, boom. It's like a weed. It's like a weed. Like a weed. It's just like a weed. just like a weed. Then they draped 50,000 LED lights around it and topped it with a 900-pound Swarovski crystal star. And finally, on December 2nd, the Rockefeller Christmas tree is lit up, this year through a virtual ceremony. The tree is always real. Come, you can smell it, you can see it. This year, we probably won't let you touch it, thanks to, uh, to COVID, but I, I can assure you, it is a very real tree. We have the pine cones to prove it. And when it's all over, we take the lumber when it is done and we turn it, we donate to Habitat for Humanity and it turns into homes for the future. It's gonna be a rough season for hey, some. At least the tree didn't get canceled. We'll go in the history books, right? Yeah, there you go.